There's something about adding even just one new chord to a chord progression for me that just can open up a whole new level of creativity and bring in a lot of fun, different options. So in this video, I wanted to share with you five different chord voicings that you can use basically to just sub out a normal chord and add this one in its place. For example, we're going to be doing a D. So instead of playing a regular D chord, you can play this kind of prettier sounding one. So very short and simple. You guys know that I like short videos. So we are just going to jump right into it and I'm going to show you these voicings. Okay, so the first chord that we are working with is basically a D sus4 here. So essentially what we're doing is we're taking our C chord and just sliding it up to the fifth fret. So this can be used in place of a D and just adds a little pretty color to it. So we have um, our fifth fret, fourth fret, open G, third fret on B, and then fifth fret on our um, e string. You're also welcome to leave this off and just let the high E ring out. that we are going to be playing is an inversion chord, which I know sounds fancy, but basically all it is is instead of starting with the first note of the chord like we normally would, like if you're playing a G and you start with a G note, we're starting with one of the other notes in that chord. That's all an inversion is. So this is the 10th fret of the low E string, and then I'm using this finger to kind of like mute my A string. Then I have 9th fret on my D string, open G, then my uh, eighth fret of my B, and now my 10th fret of my high E string. So if I slide it down here, this is like I'm playing a C chord. Here's my C root note, same exact shape. And then if I slide it up here, this is like I'm playing a D chord. how this sounds to slide this all around. There's no rules. So that is your second chord shape is an inversion of G that you can use to sub out a G chord. The next one that we are doing is something that I use all of the time. Me and my sister have a pretty regular acoustic gig and sometimes I get pretty bored just playing acoustic and playing chords. So a lot of times if I'm playing something in the key of E, I will use these voicings instead. So these are just little two finger voicings and we're just going to kind of work up the scale. So I'm starting these all at my D string. So for playing an E chord, I would play it like this. My second fret on my D string and then my first fret on my G string. So that's like a substitute for an E chord. Then I'm just going to walk up the scale and I can play all my chords like this. So this would be like my E chord. This would be like a two minor. So now this is fourth fret and the second fret here. This is how I'm gonna play a minor chord shape here. So all together, here's what this walk up is gonna look like. My next chord is an F major nine. So how we're playing this chord is we just have the A string on the eighth fret. Then I have um, 10th fret of my D string. 
open G, 10th fret of my B string, open E. Isn't that a pretty chord? Um, so this one I would like to use in the key of G. So if I'm playing and maybe using these voice voicings, if you know these, I won't go into too much detail on this. And then you can use this. My last chord that I'm going to be showing you is another way of playing a major seventh chord. This is one of those inversions again, so a note that is not the root note is going to be starting the chord. So let's just show you um, around a C major seventh here. So here's normally how one might play a C major seventh, one way of playing it. So this way, we're going to play it like this. So if I was playing this C major seventh shape, I would be playing Five, 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 starting on my D, so D, G, B, and then seven. So you can know what chord this is by whatever note you're playing on the G string. I think that these are really fun. They just add a little extra kind of flair and they sound a little bit fancier, especially if you play them higher up. So I hope that these were fun for you to learn. Um, definitely check out my video on how to memorize all the notes on your fretboard if you want a little cheat sheet of how to know all of these. Overall though, I think that these chords are just fun to maybe not use them all the time, but just to add a little bit of color in a kind of tired chord progression and just make it sound a little bit more unique. So thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing rest of your day.